Hello, welcome to the first ever Tony Award. If this is your first time ever seeing me, you have no idea who I am. My name is Hariana and I am the captain. You are not my first mate. I don't got no first mate because you wanna know why? I have a little secret that I always tell everybody when they come to my channel, why I have no first mate. Nobody is worthy of being the first mate. You guys, if you're familiar with me, if you're one of my pirates, you may recognize this damn microphone because yeah, y'all remember when I crashed Mel Bertha's wedding? Good times, good times. I should probably crash some more weddings in the near future. I know y'all didn't come. I know y'all didn't come to my channel today to hear about me or talk about whatever. You guys came here because you are here for the first ever annual Tony Awards. Hopefully, we can make it an annual thing, but that's a, that, that's another time for another discussion. The Tony Awards is an award show that is created to honor the greatness within the cartoon community. And for those of you who don't know what the fuck the cartoon community is, I'm gonna sit here and tell you what the fuck that shit is now. Basically, the cartoon community is a community on the internet, mostly on YouTube and Twitter, that is built off the love of animation. Um, the cartoon community has a very interesting history. Um, let's just say there's been a lot of drama that has been here since our existence. And it has caused animation people not to like us. They have made it clear that they can't stand us. <laughs> but anyway, there's a lot of ups and downs within the cartoon community, but at the end of the day, we are all here for our love of animation and how we want animation to improve and the things that we think animation could do better. 20, 20 and 2021 has been very rough on us let's just go ahead and say we're still stuck in this personal pan pizza and we don't know when we're gonna get out of it but one thing that has helped a lot of us get through this is art okay and that art specifically is cartoons whether you prefer adult animation or you find comfort in preschool shows, there is always something new for you to enjoy within the cartoon community. For the longest, the cartoon community has been very white and also male dominated. But within the last two years, we have seen a growth in diversity. It's very particularly interesting because everybody was complaining about how horrible the cartoon community used to be, but now it's the best that it's ever been. Because we have more diversity, what are you doing? I'm sorry, my hair is bothering me. Because of the added diversity within our community, we have much, much, much better content. Cartoon community in 2016 and 2017, it don't got shit on cartoon community in 2020 and 2021, okay? Now, I'm gonna shut up because everybody that watches me knows that I can just talk. Why do y'all think I have a podcast and a YouTube channel? I talk too damn much. What exactly is the Content Awards? The Content Awards is basically the work that the creators have made. This isn't about the creators in this position, but this is about the work that they have made. So let's go ahead and get into the nominees and the winners.
And there you have it. Those are the winners for the content awards. Now we will be back shortly after a brief break. Go ahead and get you a snack. Go pee. Um, smoke. Because I know some of y'all do that. Go pack a drink if you're old enough to do that. And we will be back with the rest of the show. We are back. You did not see my strap fall. We are back here with the Tony Awards, okay? Now you guys saw the content awards. I hope you guys are having a good time. Are you guys having a good time? I'm having a great time, okay? Okay, okay. I'm not having a great time because this, this, why my dress not want me to be great today? Like, why can't you stay up like that strap? You just have to go down and be extra. I can't never have nothing. Anyway, we are here for, we are in the second half of the show. Here we will be announcing the nominations and the winners for the Creator Awards. For the Creator Awards, we are just gonna begin with the cute little superlatives and then we will continue. I 
the night the moment that everyone has been waiting for the best of the cartoon community Now here for this section right here, I just want to highlight Hariana's favorites, basically the things that kept her ass sane this year. The Miraculous Office A&U by M. Zerul. It's, it's so damn amazing. If you like Miraculous Ladybug, if you hate Miraculous Ladybug, go give it a watch. It is amazing. Top notch. The highlight about the Miraculous Office A.U. is that it's like literally, it takes a village, okay? Literally. The Reckless Office AU just slaps so hard and I just highly recommend all of you guys watch that. And also I do want to recognize the Scott Pilgrim dub. That also was something else that brought me a lot of joy this year. And it finally encouraged me to read the Scott Pilgrim books. And whew, that last book was not it. One thing in particular I want to point out about the Scott Pilgrim dub is that basically that is a cartoon community effort, okay? Literally so many people that you recognize within this community, they in that. Shout out to Smee, shout out to his editing team because they did the damn thing on there, okay? Now this Tariq video of mine has just always been a favorite. Um, it didn't get nominated, but I just want to recognize it. Um, the Replacements video. I don't know why I love that one so much, but I do. I think I love it so much because homeboy Veritas Joe is in it. It's great. Go watch the Replacements review. Another Veritas Joe video I would like to highlight is This Year is Slowly Killing Me. I felt that one with my whole heart. I would love to recognize Anime Puffs, the homophobia in the Proud Family video because that one, oh Jesus, amazing. I love her. I love Wiley with all my heart. And speaking of homophobia, the storyteller's video on homophobia in the boondocks, amazing, top tier. If you guys want to get into watching the boondocks or just anything, I highly recommend that you just go to the storyteller's channel. All his work is so great, okay? He, I swear, I ain't never met somebody as passionate about the boondocks and I adore it. I adore the storyteller's work so much. Some of my favorite work. I would also like to acknowledge Large Black Male's video about DC Superhero Girls. It was so great. I love the way he tackled it and he handled it. And it also got me wanting to get back into the series because I watched a few episodes of it and I said it's cute and I just never went back to it. And then after I saw his review on the series, it made me want to go back for more. This is Superhero Girls had the best rebrand and I think LBM tackled it perfectly. Next, I want to acknowledge Shelly Rally's quit idolizing content creators because y'all need to hear that shit. Stop with these parasocial relationships. This shit's about to be the death of y'all. And Chris did not lie at all. If anyone wants to start watching Miraculous Ladybug, uh, just just being, just know it's not great. It's not that great. You like the characters more than the stories. Toon Ruins made an amazing video in defense of Cat Noir. 
I love this video so much. I probably watched it like five times because it just hit on the nail. Every little thing about this video was just great. They literally, I, I'm just, I just adore this video so much. In Defense of Cat Noir. That is the name of it. I highly recommend you guys watch it. I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys have seen it because I have a million views. And um, that doesn't happen quite often in the cartoon community where videos hit a million views. So that's how I know y'all watching stuff. Y'all watching it. Y'all watch Miraculous Ladybug and a lot of y'all don't want to admit it. A lot of y'all watch Descendants too and don't want to admit it either because why some of my most viewed videos are Descendants videos? Y'all claim to not have seen that movie, but you like watching people talk shit about it. Go ahead and admit it. The Wacky Deli is a great ray of sunshine. I adore them so much. And the video that I would like to highlight from them is the Phineas and Ferb Iceberg. I don't care about Phineas and Ferb at all, but that Iceberg video was great. It actually got me invested back in it. That's the amazing thing about the cartoon community. You will be watching videos on shit that you don't care about. That's how great our community is. And the last video that I would like to acknowledge from the cartoon community is another great collab video from Geek Tunes. It was about the Boondocks and it was so nice to see the Boondocks finally talked about from somebody that wasn't black. Because a lot of times when I find people talk about the Boondocks that are not black, they can say some very ignorant things. And I think this group of people right here, some were black and some were not, they handled it perfectly. Geek Tunes, shout out to you. Geek Tunes has proven himself to be a great creator and I'm very proud of his growth. And that is it for tonight's show. As you guys see, I'm already done for the night. I put my PJs on because I can do that. If you guys would like to join me for the after party, please go to twitch.tv slash Harriana and we will have all your little nice cartoon discourse over there. Don't be no star loser, but first of all, you didn't win. And second of all, don't be over there complaining if one of your favorite creators didn't win something because we not doing that shit. We want good vibes over there for the after party. Like, what's that thing um, Mary J. Blige said? Don't bring that shit in this dancery. Don't. We not doing that. Leave all that at home if you gonna come to the after party. But yeah, I will see you guys over on Twitch in a few minutes. And thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for coming to spend this night with us as we celebrate our love for animation because the cartoon community's improvement over the years has been very amazing to see. And I am just seriously so proud of everybody that was nominated and all the winners tonight because y'all did the thing, okay? All of you guys are amazing. You guys make great content and our community deserves more recognition. And I wanted to help do that community really does need a lot more recognition than what we give because you know at the end of the day people still try to see cartoons at least in the western hemisphere as children's stuff and no we all can like tunes all of us came together because we enjoy cartoons but thank you guys for watching this was a great experience a bit of a stressful one but yeah thank you guys so much for watching have a good night the captain out